me see you go in that water. Whoops! <laughs> Ginny, I thought you were talking to me and I was like, huh? I'm so, I'm so sorry. You're not gonna stay and finish? I'm sorry. <laughs> Playing like an NPC. <laughs> series that covers many different individuals, whether they're content creators or just regular people wearing Meg mains in the fall. And we're going to highlight and learn about each and every one of their individual experiences, whether it's in-game or on social media. Today's episode covers the Twitch streamer, Divine Volps. This is Divine Volps. They've been a Meg main since early 2021, where they picked up Meg shortly after playing, and they're currently Prestige 99. Divine says, they generally think that Megs get a bad rep, and it's probably because she's one of the game's base players, so a lot of the newbies pick her up. People tend to call her player base a bunch of sandbaggers, trolls, and toxic, and so on. They say that they have definitely seen that in the randoms they run into, but overall, people have been kind to them specifically. They tend to think they get treated decently by other survivors because they tend to use funny names in game and try their best to be altruistic, all while still goofing around and having fun, of course. In general, they think the community is incredibly hypercritical of a lot of things, including other players, and people like to pass judgment based on the man that you choose, but they're just here for the vibes. They do wish we could stop the name calling just for enjoying a character and their perks. They got yelled at in endgame chat for only hiding in lockers when they were on objectives 95% of the game. They do feel like that DBD is super up and down in general, but they love the game regardless of their own personal experience, and they do believe it's been overall positive. Divine does say, though, that it is frustrating and disheartening, or killers that profusely slug and tunnel them out the game, and say that they're transphobic or homophobic in things in endgame chat, but behavior attempts to take care of these issues swiftly when they report. As Divine has said above, they've had some folks talk down on them simply for playing Meg, but they think in spite of things that they dislike about the game and the player base, that there's enough good things that they always pick up back in the game. It's one of her favorite ways to spend time with her friends, wind down after a long day, or even past times on nights where they can't sleep. If you guys enjoyed episode four or you're enjoying the series in general, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get your post notifications turned on and sharing the video out as well. Thank you guys for watching episode four and I'll see you guys next week for episode five. Bye bye.